This is from Seth. Russia, Iran open their arms as Turkey loses patience with the U.S. All right, let's see what's going on here. Relations between the U.S. and Turkey have hit a new low over Washington support of militias battling the Islamic State, according to analysts. The government in Ankara, or excuse me, I, I mispronounced that, in Ankara, views the Kurdish fighters as terrorists. Experts warn that the crisis is resulting in Turkey, a longtime American ally with NATO's second largest standing army, turning away from the West and toward Russia and Iran. U.S. military support for Syrian Democratic forces, uh, which are led by the Kurdish YPG militia, have left Turkey furious. Turkey sees YPG as an extension of the separatist Kurdistan Workers' Party. The U.S. is directly providing arms to a group whose ultimate ambition is not defeating ISIS. Um, this group's ultimate ambition is creating an independent Kurdistan. Kurds in the region have long harbored hopes of forming their own state. In Iraq, the Kurdistan regional government held a referendum on independence in September. Merrill said that mistakes committed by the Turkish state in crushing the movement and trying to force the minority to assimilate have resulted in deep grievances among many Kurds. The United States is providing military and logistics to a group of Kurdish fighters that is closely linked to the PKK. The PKK is a separatist group that has used violence with the aim of achieving an independent Kurdish state. Naturally, Turkey is apprehensive that a group of Syrian Kurdish fighters closely linked to separatist Kurdish militants in Turkey is gaining a significant foothold in northern Syria. And this, by the way, this is from NBC News, by the way. This is not, this is not some big, like, like, um, this is not some independent source or anything like that. This is from NBC News, which is not an anti-war publication by any means. And even NBC News, now I'm sure this is not front page news, but even NBC News is acknowledging we're not quote unquote fighting ISIS and keeping America safe. We're, we're just, we're just funding conflict. We're funding deadly war around the world. That's what we're doing. We're engaging as imperialists. Uh, and this is NBC news. And again, you know, over on the Jimmy Dore show, we've made the Mort Saul analogy before where it's like Mort Saul would sit with a newspaper and he would read stuff that would, people would be like, holy shit, that's what's happening. And he'd be like, yeah, this is all in the paper. It's just not on page one. You, you gotta, you gotta search for this. They don't make it easy on you. Same thing here. NBC news is acknowledging that we are just funding endless war. That's what we're doing. We're just funding one side. Probably at some point we'll give weapons to the other. And that's just how we fund endless war. And this is why we don't have universal health care. Because we're helping people in the Middle East uh, kill each other. We're funding endless war and we're encouraging it. And we're dropping bombs to create more of it. And it's not about our safety. Nowhere close. Nor is it about spreading democracy. It's about oil. It's about resources. And it's about um, trying to enforce our own agenda on the world and not really caring what casualties lay in the process. And here you go. And Turkey, yet another country, is losing patience with this endless worldwide militarization. And, you know, it's not just the United States. Other countries are guilty, too. But the United States, certainly, uh, certainly the ringleader. And here N NBC News is coming to it. But I guarantee that's not on the front page. Thanks for sharing that, Seth. That's a good one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, 
free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.